already have some energy out here and there's it looks like to me there's someone here going through some form of like realization and awakening somebody's realizing something about someone or some situation that they're in whoever this is i feel like they're going through a lot in their life right now we have awakening energy we have warning energy someone is not trusting this person could be you could be a person just apply these roles where they fit it's like somebody is ignoring red flags or they're, they've they done all they could to avoid like a, making a decision about a situation. Somebody here is supposed to be healing and going through an awakening, which tells me somebody is trying to fight a dark night of the soul. Like they're, they're fighting, growing up, learning some lessons. I feel like this person has a lot of things going on in their life right now in their family, their finances and in friendships. Okay, somebody here is making a decision about a friendship they've been in in a long time or someone they've known or have a long history with here. And their finances, I feel like right now, are taking a hit. Somebody here also could have some form of addiction, be it, you know, it could be anything. It could be sex. It could be, uh, you know, gambling, money, you know, shopaholic, whatever it is. Because, you know, there definitely is some finances are affecting this person very heavily right now. Okay, it could be that somebody is spending money on things they shouldn't. I mean, it's clear that they are. And so anyway, spirit is calling upon this person to make a decision and change and to heal and stop fighting this, you know, whole thing. I don't I don't know what this is that they're fighting. I don't know what this decision is about. For some of y'all, it has to do with a friendship, okay? So it's time for someone here to decide right now, today. Okay, in my Kevin Gates voice, right now today, if this person does not want to do this, so show me here, what is this warning about? What's this warning red flag energy? King of Pentacles. So you could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. This person here could be an Earth sign. All right. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Somebody was warned about something. Somebody may have come to someone here with this Ten of Swords energy. Somebody came to somebody about. Somebody could be learning about. They were betrayed. I'm telling you, whoever this is, this is a heartbreaking ending. Somebody here is going through a lot of karma right now. They're going through a lot of stuff. Okay, this person could be an air sign, dealing with the air sign, or this could be that same ma masculine looking back on the past with the Six of Cups energy, looking back on the past. Like, how did I miss this? Yeah, look at this. Okay, King of Swords, Six of Cups. This person is like, how did I get here? Nine of Swords, how did I miss this? They definitely missed the war warning flags here or just tried to make excuses. I don't know. Clarify this King of Pentacles and this warning energy, please. Yeah, whatever this was, was revealed. Leo energy and Cancer energy. Um, yeah, definitely something coming to light. Somebody could be finding out this information. King of Pentacles is finding out some form of information or they're getting closer to the truth or they're getting closer to an awakening here. And now they're, or they're in once they get to this realization, whatever this is, is being revealed. I don't feel like, hmm, let's see, what's this decision about? What's this decision that this King of Pentacles needs to make? The world, whether or not they're going to end something here. I'm telling you, this is the second 10 I've seen. Ten of Swords, 10 of, um, no, I want to say 10 of Pentacles. I'm telling you, maybe something has something to do with the family. I feel like family's affecting this person's finances, which represents the 10 of Pentacles. Like, but the wheel is a number 10 and that's about like moving on. I mean, this is good change. Somebody could be realizing they need to make a decision to heal and to move on and awaken. Let's get the rest of this information first. Let's dig a little deeper. Show me more about this decision. Yeah, see, seven of swords. I, I need more information. Show me more about this decision for this king of pentacles. The magician. Oh, the lovers. There goes that decision. <sighs> Clarify the seven of swords. Clarify the seven of swords. 
I hope this isn't lies and deceit and manipulation. Yeah, it is. Three of, three of swords. Either this king of pentacles is the one that caused this, this heartbreak and this pain and this deception. They were very manipulative or they could have been manipulated by somebody and they're realizing this out. This could be a love connection because we did see the lovers. Somebody could be a Gemini with that lovers and the magician energy here. They could be a Cancer or um, a Leo, but or this could be a friend. Show me this magician energy, please. What is the Empress. So this person could have been deceived and manipulated by an Empress or by a mother, someone that they have children with. So I let's this person is very emotional. Mm, two of Cups about a love connection. So somebody here, let me just say this. Somebody could be coming towards you, collective. This could be this King of Pentacles could be wanting to come towards you after a realization about something else. And they may have been manipulative towards you in the past and they let you go for some reason. I feel like this person has a lot going on and it, that doesn't have anything to do with you. And this person still loves you and they're heartbroken over this deception and this pain they caused. But let's just see. Clarify this Empress energy, please. And now they're trying to either do magic, black magic, to get you back. I don't know. Clarify this Empress yeah, five of wands. See what I'm saying? Clarify this empress energy. Yeah, five of wands, five of pentacles, and temperance. Somebody's getting ready to heal from some drama. I'm telling you, somebody's getting ready to heal from some drama, some conflict. This person has a lot going on in their life. If they, whatever this decision is, somebody could have, whatever, they, this person ignored something. Some signs. Some gossip could be for some of y'all, you know, whatever this is, they chose, this person chose to ignore whatever they were being presented with because the sun is here. It's out in the open, I feel like, collective. I do. And that lover's card is right back on the bottom of the deck. And so now this person could have been betrayed by this empress. They could be a Taurus. Uh, you know, and this king of pentacles is heartbroken over this situation. They're in a lot of hurt and karma right now their finances could be taking a hit everything in their life i feel like it's taking a hit and now this person's like well damn it's nothing else left for me to do but to heal and, and get the hell away from this this empress or these people i got a decision to make is what i'm hearing it's time to decide this person could be deciding to let go of this empress this could be somebody you know that has children with someone here whether you're male or female yeah if somebody is fighting over money, somebody's is, account is in overdraft, I feel like. So, I feel like somebody here, this couple, this couple could have bond, trauma bonded. Yeah, definitely some healing. This masculine is trying to heal. So, show me, what, what's this King of Pentacles next step? What, what does this King of Pentacles want to do? What's their next step? For, for They feel like they're about to be rejected. They may want to come towards somebody. There's something that this King of Pentacles wants to do, but they don't feel real hopeful about it. They don't feel like it's going to work out. They're not currently satisfied with their, certain, their current situation right now. I can tell you that. They know they need to move forward, but they don't know how. They're like, damn, how did I get here? What's this King of Pentacles next step here? What are, what are, how are they going to move forward in this situation? Well, they want new love. All right. That Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the King of Swords. Somebody is really ruminating over the past. I feel like this person could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. So this next person's next, this person is focusing a lot on the past. So I just feel like this person is looking back over. Show me this King of Swords energy, please. Oof, whoa, something just went in reverse. The Five of Cups in reverse. So we have five, five, five. This person could be seeing triple five 
or you could be seeing a lot of fives here lately, but I'm telling you this person's life is in turmoil and they're ready for a change. They don't want to be in this mess anymore. This person is realizing they need to address stuff that happened from the past. They may feel like they are experiencing karma because of the things that they did in the past. And now they're like, what can I do to heal and get out of this karmic debt and just make things right in my life? You know, I really feel like this person is so focused on the past so much. And it's like spirit is pushing this person to make a different decision and move forward and in a different way. Show up different. Queen of Wands is here. You could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Show me this five of show me this Queen of Wands. What does this Queen of Wands have to do with this? somebody's trying to decide whether or not they want to communicate with you if you um they see you as a queen of wands somebody who's confident who's strong who's magical who's like independent you may not be talking to this person you fo you're focused on your own life okay and i feel like you're doing good but this two of pentacles fell on top of this three of swords Th that is that masculine's energy and then the Page of Wands fell, fell on top of the Temperance energy. You definitely could be dealing with the Sagittarius here or Pisces with the High Priestess being at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's going back and forth about whether or not they're going to call you, take any action towards you, speak to you. They feel like they need to do this to heal, to start the healing process. Or there could be something about your energy um, that's very healing to them. What's this page of wands? Okay. That's too many. But I'm going to show you three of pentacles, ten of cups, justice card. They may want to come towards you and say, hey, I, I, I want a family with you. I'm going to work things out. You make me happy. I want to bring balance and stability. You could be a Libra too because the justice energy is here and the temperance energy is here. So somebody really does realize they like where their happiness lies. And I just feel like this person lied to themselves for so long. Four of Pentacles. I feel like they're just still holding on to the past. What's this justice energy about? Strength. They feel like you're holding back from them. I'm telling you, I feel like y'all are not saying anything. You could be a fire sign, a Leo, Queen of Wands. This just this strength energy fell on top of this Queen of Wands. They may even feel guilty and regret for how they treated you. They may have held back from you. Clarify the strength energy. There's a lot of major arcana cards here. So like I was saying, somebody's going through major transitions and karma and drama and all this conflict in their life right now. Clarify the strength card. Yeah, this is going to change this person's perspective and life forever. The two of wands, they're, they're holding back and not taking any action here because they're, they're just thinking a lot. They're thinking about their next move, what they're going to do, but they're back and forth. This two of pentacles and this two of wands energy is like they don't know what to do. Decisions, decisions. The spirit told this person a long time ago it's time for them to decide about this. I don't know what they're still ruminating over because, hell, somebody was real manipulative. Whoever this was could have been them or the person they were dealing with. It's like, oh, I can't believe it energy. <laughs> believe it. That's what you chose. Let me move on from this deck. Spirit said move on from this deck. Show me more about this situation, please. For this King of Pentacles. So this part, this King of Pentacles is, re is ready to focus on themselves. They're ready to focus on themselves. Some of y'all ain't ready to focus on themselves, but I feel like they don't know how to. It's like, like I said, they're having a difficult time making this decision and doing what they know they've been trying to like hold back on doing or they're trying to like delay this I guess you know it's like they're thinking about somebody else they queen of wands they want to they want this new ace of cups with this queen of wands because nobody compares to you collective they do 
you know, because you look great. You're looking good. You're, this person sees you as looking better than how you used to be. Some of y'all could be a water sign. You may have changed something recent about your appearance here, whether you're male or female. You know, this person dreams about you a lot. They dream about you a whole lot. So you're not with, talking to this person. You don't even know what's going on. This, yeah, this person d definitely played games. You know, you left this person alone. Like I said, you stopped talking to them. Yeah. Huh. They're looking. This person is jealous. They feel like you may have moved on here. If this person said if they weren't in a relationship, they would be with you, Collective. So this is definitely giving me you walked away from this person. Some of y'all, like I said, are dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius here. Air energy. They tried to have you in a third party situation and then, I, you know, it's like, no. <laughs> I feel like you guys were like, no, thank you. Go away. And besides all this other stuff going on in this person's life right now, they really do need to focus on them, right? They do. Yeah, this person was reckless with their behavior, and now they're learning this karmic lesson. They could even be watching you from a secret account here. Ooh, look at this third-party energy. Somebody here is married. They're married to somebody else or in a relationship or a commitment with somebody they have children with, and they're they're stalking stalking you online paying attention to what you're doing and they are like upset yeah shady energy wearing this mask seven of swords shady energy here what's the shady energy about could it just be that they're high oh look at this somebody in trouble with the law <laughs> somebody in trouble with the law either this person is getting a divorce from a shady person like i said earlier or they are having some legal problems, some financial problems. For some of y'all, this person could be like, a, uh, uh, yeah, this person is going through a lot of obstacles in their life. It could be a twin flame or a soulmate. Either somebody is having issues paying bills, they're getting a divorce, or like there's some sort of paternity issue in this connection. Somebody could be questioning whether or not somebody is their child or questioning a pregnancy. Somebody here might have gone to jail or owe legal, um, legal fees. Or have a suspended license or old child support for something. Yep. And as I say, that family came out. Child, look at this foolishness. Oof. Somebody here could have gotten pregnant by the wrong person. Ah. They had reckless, unprotected sex with a shady female. Or this shady female, the person they had sex with, was lying about who the child I don't know. Who's the father? Who's the mother? I don't Some shady energy going on in this situation. But this is you. You Look at this love child. Somebody had a love child somewhere else? No. Anyway, but this is you. Living in the moment, free, with your feet up, kicked back, while this person is about to get this bad news about what you got. They're about to be, I'm telling you, somebody stressed. Definitely may have an addiction, like I said. For some of y'all, somebody definitely has an issue with alcoholism. Of They've been avoiding this awakening. So how they suppress, think they're suppressing the pain is by drinking. Okay, but what's this bad news about? What's this bad news about? <sighs> this person? is upset that you've blocked them that you've left this person hanging this person feels like you left them with no closure or you're leaving this person you're not responding to their messages some of you guys may have left this person on red it's like you're looking at these messages but you're not responding with these calls or these text messages somebody here definitely could be blocked but i feel like they're on their phone and they're on their computer trying to figure out how to contact you and they're trying to get to you because you left this person and this you left them hanging. I don't know. Or they couldn't get any. They want to call you and tell you about this karmic lesson and this drama and this legal issues that they're going through right now. But they can't because they're blocked. So now this person is like having to cope with the situation on their own. But this is them on this social secret account watching you on this phone and this laptop. This person wants you to know that they love you. 
and they wish they could have been with you. They wish they weren't in a relationship or are, are married or haven't asked somebody else to marry them. <sighs> so I told you somebody is, needs to heal from a sex addiction. Sex addiction came out in reverse. So some of y'all stop talk, stop sleeping with this person. You stop sleeping with them. Okay. I feel like, but this person knows, or they're realizing that they have this addiction and they need to heal this sex addiction, which is the cause of what got them into all of this whole situation in the first damn place. Look at this. This is what this, this energy, <laughs> this person needs to heal from. Hold on. Let me pick these cards up and show y'all. That spirit is caused, telling them they need to change with this awakening energy. Spirit is pushing this person to change for the better. They want to see them do better. They know they're doing wrong. Healing all the spirit is saying, hey, it's time for you to make a decision today about this. Where this person feels like, hey, they've gotten themselves in such a mess. Here and now, make a decision. Make a decision. Finances, obstacles, they just going through it over wherever they at. Three of Swords is out here. We saw the Ten of Swords. We see karmic lessons. <sighs> For some of y'all, you could have worked with this person here. Yeah. I feel like this masculine was having a lot of fun. It was real fun to them then. They weren't thinking about the consequences. But now, they are in such turmoil. Their life is upside down. Yeah, firestorm. As I look at the bottom of the dang on deck. Thank you, spirit. Drama. Endings. Loss. Mental breakdown. Karma. Karmic lessons. Karmic lessons. Ooh. I want to get up out of this energy. All right. Let's see what this person... Um... You know what? I'm being called to pull from a different deck. Show me y'all might be dealing with a Aries, Leo, a Sag, a Fire sign, or an Earth sign. So what else? Do, what does the collective need to know about all of this? Like, what does this have to do with my collective? They can't let go of you, and they're stalking you on social media. We already know that. That's why Spirit wants you to know. So, is this person going to heal and learn and grow? Oh, I'm, not, I'm not picking that up. Shady energy came out. Will this, it can't, did that come out in reverse? Is this person going to heal and grow? Um, Somebody's upset with you. Somebody's upset with you. Or you were upset with this person. Somebody's angry at somebody that was dishonest. Or they're angry. They're very triggered. What's this anger about? I mean, I know this is... Show me this water sign energy. Because we have water sign out here twice. Thank you. I already said this stuff. So let me confirm for y'all. I said you're living in, in the moment, right? Remember we saw that energy? And when I clarified water sign, because water sign is out here twice. And I'm going to show you. This is this is this is what came out before I asked for water sign clarification. Glowed up and happiness. Remember they see you as the queen of wands. Remember they feel like there's nobody like you. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're watching you so much because you're happy. You're in your own energy. You, some of y'all have changed your physical appearance. You feel <coughs> happier about yourself. You're looking better. Some of y'all change something about your appearance or your look. You're expressing gratitude. You're living life like some of y'all are experiencing new, um, like experiences, like things you've never doing things you've never done before. Yeah, but this person, I'm telling you, they're in this two of pentacles, two of wands energy. They got a choice to make. They got a choice to make. Blocked. Look at this. This person wants you to take them off. Block. Block and reverse. So, what's this choice about here? Listen, this per I already thank you, Spirit. I'm telling you, this per whoever this person is, they're very disappointed. They're realizing that their addictions or their need to have several partners or the amount of people they were sleeping with or whether or not they were a cheater or whatever. Lust energy. We already talked about the sex addiction. 
and disappointment. They're realizing I got to change my life because my life is in shambles right now. Something is, somebody is going through a lot of drama. Somebody who manipulated people for their own gain. <laughs> and definitely are having money problems. Broke in reverse. You're not broke. But somebody, gold digger, this person is somebody with broken reverse and this gold digger energy here. This is somebody here who's appearing, King of Pentacles energy, appearing to be like not having money problems. Like they have it all together. And they're not, they do not have it all together, honey. This person is having obstacles in finances. And they're going to continue to experience that blockage in finances until they heal and address this and stop and make a decision. Shoot, this is somebody who cares about how something looks or they only deal with people that look a certain way or like only deal with people for money or what they have or the connections they may have or who they may know or what those people can do for them. This person has more interest in material benefits or they could be in a relationship or a connection with this other person because of that. A user. And now this person's like, damn, how did I get here? Divine Feminine. <laughs> Divine Feminine is in the limelight. Divine Feminine, this is you coming out as getting a lot of attention. We already saw that Queen of Wands. Okay? High key, Divine Feminine, you're doing you. Money, I'm telling you somebody having money problems. This Divine Map, look, cake, look, let me show y'all this. I ain't making this up. This is somebody here who's acting like they're not broke and they're not having money problems or they haven't been robbing Peter to pay Paul. Okay. Chaos agents. Divine masculine. And this money issues is the only card that came out here in reverse. And I feel like that's because somebody here, because Gold Digger was up, out, up here out upright. This is somebody who started it but couldn't finish it this is their own doing this is a result of the shit that they did the mask that they they wore the shady behavior you know what i'm saying this person is the chaos agent so i mean now this person sitting back reflecting on it while you're glowed up minding your business but they were in the shady energy now they got a decision to make but they was over here acting reckless, having sex with all these people. I don't know. Can't let you go and afraid that you're not going to take them back. They're, they're in this four cups energy. Just think about all of this. They are looking back over their life and thinking things over. Okay. Could be a Leo. Could be a Sag. Could be an Aquarius. Gemini. Definitely Gemini. Libra for sure. Um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, did I see anything? Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with this King of Pentacles energy. All right. I love you guys. I will see you later. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you need, need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box.